With your Tackle HD crappie fishing report, here's Jack Uxa with the latest from Lake of the Ozarks. Hey gang, it's Jack Uxa here with your uh, fishing report for Lake of the Ozarks. And I'm going to be changing up things a little bit. I'm going to be focusing in on the crappie. Uh, as you many of you guys know, the crappie fishing here on Lake of the Ozarks is exceptional. Uh, we're very blessed with a lot of docks here and a, a huge population of crappie. And, and really, this is one of my favorite times of the year to crappie fish. Um, the last few weeks, I've been stocking up my freezer. Uh, you know, we got the holidays uh, just around the corner here. Uh, I got a lot of family members that appreciate some crappie fillets. So I've already started giving away some, and I'm going to give away some more. And I also like to eat them myself, and I really like to catch them. Um, water temperature is about 52 degrees. Uh, there are some places where the water is colder than that, especially if you go up the river sections, um, but the main lake is 52. Uh, if you go down to the Bagnell Dam area, I imagine it might be a couple degrees warmer than that, um, but the water clarity is clear. Uh, we have had a little bit of rain here and there, but it hasn't really been enough to significantly dirty up uh, any large areas of the lake. You know, you might find a cove here or there that's got some dirty water to it, but for the most part, it's clear. Um, you know, I, I'm primarily dock shooting. This is my favorite time of year to dock shoot. Um, honestly, with the uh, with the help of live scope and, and and all the docks we've got on this lake, it's it's just it's just a great combination. Uh, I've been using a variety of colors. Uh, Tackle HD has a variety of um, of these baby shads. You can see I've I've used most of these from this pack. This is a blue grass color. That's one of my favorite colors. Um, this here is monkey milk. They've got a lot of good colors. Um, this Cajun has been good. See this one's kind of worn out a little bit already. Uh, I put super glue on my jig heads. I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this. But um, I put super glue on my jig heads. In fact I'll do one right now so you guys can kind of see how it works. Uh, this will save you guys a ton of time on the water, and it'll save you a little bit of money, too. So, hopefully you guys can see that. I take my time threading it on there, because I want it to be on there nice and straight. Um, some super glue. This particular brand is Loctite. It, uh, you know, you got to be careful when you're putting it on. All you need is a little dab, and then you slide it on the rest of the way. And, um, and, and that right there will catch you a ton of fish. Um, sometimes I'll take this hook and I'll bend it out just a little bit. If you can see that, bent it out just a little bit. And uh, sometimes I'll smush down this barb and I'll smush down this barb just a little bit. I don't want to smush it down so much that I lose fish. But I do want to smush it down a little bit to where if I get on a hot school, I can unhook my fish, throw it in the live well, and get right back in there. You know, so much of the time uh, when you're on Lake of the Ozarks and you're dock shooting, you got to be very efficient. Um, your your boat's always moving around, even with spot lock, um, the wind, the waves, whatever. Um, we got some pretty narrow gaps that we're shooting our, our jigs into underneath these docks, and you got to be quick. You know, if you get one good one fired up. Um, you know, you want to be back in there as quick as you can. Keep that school fired up. Um, there's been several times lately where I've been seeing a, a hot dock, and that's all you need is one hot dock, and, and you're good. You can get a, a limit of crappie off of one dock, and, and that's really fun, too. It's, you know, you get rewarded uh, when you make a good shot, shot underneath that dock, and, you know, the, the opposite's true, too. If you make a bad shot and you wrap your jig around some piece of metal underneath there, uh, you know, you're, you're, you, you get penalized, you have to go retie. And so what I'll do is when I rig these up, you know, I'll, I'll have maybe, depending on how, how windy it's going to be and, and who I'm taking out fishing, you know, uh, some days you need more jigs than other days, you know. Um, but I'll, I'll have maybe five to seven or ten, you know, jigs pre-glued, uh, ready to go for tomorrow's conditions you know if tomorrow's gonna be a cloudy day um, you know I'll use more of these colors and there's black and chartreuse that's always a that's a that's a 
that's just been around forever, crappie fishing, black and chartreuse, and then blue and white tubes were, were the biggest deal forever. Um, nowadays, we use a lot more of these baby shads. You know, this is a, uh, a thread fin shad. This is also a really good color when it's cloudy. And, um, and when it's sunny, um, right now, you know, we've got some sun. I'm going to use that blue grass, and I'm going to use blue ice. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's kind of a little fuzzy. Uh, blue grass has got a chartreuse belly and a blue back and some flake in there. And, um, and so anyways, I'll, I'll just have a variety of colors kind of pre-rigged. And, um, you know, if we go through those seven or eight jigs in, in, in the course of a day, uh, they really don't cost that much. And, you know, at that point, sometimes I'll sit down and I'll re-glue a handful more uh, for whatever the hot color is for that day. You know, crappie are very sensitive when it comes to uh, um, your presentation. You know, these crappie here, are, you know, we've got a lot of them, but they're also educated. You need to get your jig way up underneath that dock. They've seen a lot of other things, you know, you got to pay attention to your little light bites uh, because even the big ones will just peck at it very softly sometimes. So you got to be able to watch your line. A lot of times I use four pound test. Kind of depends on the day. Sometimes I'll use six pound test. Um, if they're really finicky, I'll go down to four pound test though. Uh, now, if I'm slinging them in the boat, like lately it's been pretty good. I'll use a lot of six pound test because... Quite frankly, you could just winch them out of there with six pound tests. You can be kind of rough with them and you don't have to worry about retying and you know, you get a lot more of your jigs back with six pound, but then there's days where you just got to go down to that four pound test and it helps get your jig down deeper. Um, for the most part, they haven't been all that deep lately. Um, I'd say the shallow ones are about four feet deep. And a lot of times when you get into a school of them, you'll see your, your screen is lit up from four feet down to 20 feet. And it's all crappie. And the, the, the ones that are higher up in the water columns are generally more active. Um, you know, it's been great. It's, it's been, like I said, it's my favorite, one of my favorite times of the year for crappie fish. The only time of the year that beats this time of year is when we get that bobber deal going in late winter, uh, like late February, early March. And then by mid-March, you know, and, and end of March, it's not nearly as good. But um, that bobber deal is pretty fun, and, and it could be short-lived. But right now, it's a little bit more consistent. Um, we're into that deal where it's, it's Thanksgiving to, you know, till Christmas. It's, it's much more consistent. The water temperature is warmer now, you know. I mean, we're talking about, you know, lower 50s. It's, it's not to the point where it's gotten really cold yet. Uh, eventually, once we get past Christmas... You know they'll they'll be moving deeper then, and you know it'll you'll have to go a little bit slower. But for the most part, I'm going halfway back in these coves. I'm side scanning a bunch of docks, finding which ones have got big schools of crappie on them. Uh, a lot of times they've, they're the same docks. They've got some brush piles on them. Uh, sometimes it's wind dependent. Sometimes you need to have a little bit of wind coming in on your on your spots. Um, and there are some times where you, I'm going back out to the main lake docks. Um, the main lake docks have got usually more numbers, but sometimes it's a little bit smaller fish. Um, but depending on what's going on with the wind and how you're fishing that day, sometimes that's, that's still more important. Uh, the Grab Always Arms has been really, really good. Uh, probably the most consistent arm of the lake. Um, but you can catch them everywhere. I mean, Shawnee Bend has been hot as can be lately. That's where I've been fishing mostly. Um, I've also been doing some bass fishing over there. Um, I will touch base quickly on the bass. I've just fished two tournaments this past weekend. We had the uh, Murray Memorial uh, Tournament. Me and Bass and Bob fished that. It was okay. We got a check, but it wasn't it wasn't good fishing at all. Uh, then yesterday I fished another tournament. Well, Bass and Bob Winter Challenge. I think it's called Wintertime Bass Challenge or something like that. Uh, man, he always takes care of us fishermen so well. He had food, breakfast for us, and lunch for us you know before and after that's awesome it's it's great to get off the water um and and go get something warm to eat and he's got it right there for you he, he treats it like it's a championship or something but it's just a little 130 dollar entry tournament and uh he pays back really good and anyways i had a limit in that tournament i fished it by myself i didn't know i was going to fish the tournament i thought i was going to have a guide trip and it canceled so at like 9 p.m the night before i 
I signed up for the tournament. It had a limit, but once again, I kind of caught them a little bit of everywhere. Uh, I caught some on the main channel, uh, caught some on docks, caught some on uh, on top water, caught some on a jerk bait in the back of a cove. Uh, bass fishing is just kind of like that right now. It's very, um, it just kind of changes a lot. It's it's been tough. There hasn't been a lot of big bags. There's been about you know two guys out of a you know hundred guys that will come in with a big bag. So it's been pretty tough lately. But at least we're catching fish. I mean, honestly, on Saturday, I caught two dozen bass myself. And Bob caught a handful. And, uh, you know, then yesterday, I didn't catch quite two dozen. But, I mean, I still caught a good number of bass. And yesterday, I had a limit. And, uh, you know, it didn't do me any good in the in the Bass and Bob Winter Challenge. But it was, it's fun fishing right now. If I really wanted to catch bass, I'd be throwing some smaller baits. Since I was in tournaments, I was throwing a lot of larger baits, uh, larger jerk baits, uh, larger top waters, big jigs, tubes, that kind of thing, and I've been fishing back behind docks. If I was going to go fun fishing, I'd probably be throwing a small swim bait in the back of a cove, uh, maybe a Ned rig, uh, maybe a small jerk bait, you know, that kind of stuff. But they are still feeding on some shad. Um, this is generally the time of year that they start to move deeper, but, you know, like I said, I mean... I don't know how many fish I caught on the top water here recently. The top water bite's still there. It's just, they haven't moved deep yet. Um, they're just uh, the ones that are still shallow are a little educated. But um, bass fishing's okay right now. Yeah, I am starting to do some river trips too. So rivers and smallmouth. Smallmouth tend to not care as much about cold temperatures. They just it doesn't bother them like it bothers a largemouth. Uh, so that's been kind of fun too. But Crappie fishing is the big deal right now, guys. Come down, get you a bunch of crappie. Get used to dock shooting. Get used to looking at your live scope and utilizing your live scope with your crappie fishing. And uh, if you're looking for a guide, if, if maybe I can help you get better at uh, some of those things, uh, please give me a call because I've got a ton of av availability right now. And the weather's good. I mean, today's beautiful out here. And, um, and we'll have some ugly days too, but... You know, take advantage of the nice days because there's not uh, hardly anybody on the water right now. It's really quiet and the crappie are biting. So tight lines, everyone. <laughs>